any city, in any country. Go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. Approach the counter and speak with the worker there. Ask him to see someone named the holder of the list. His expression will change dramatically, as if his whole personality just changed instantaneously. The worker will stare at you with a look of disgust, or sorrow, or the most devastating fear. If the last expression is given, leave the institution and drive away, as far away as you can, until you feel an unintentional sensation of dehydration. When you feel this, you will be safe. If you don't feel the sensation after more than two hours of constant driving, then pray that your life be spared as the monsters of your nightmares seemingly eat away at your sanity until you're nothing more than a lifeless rag doll. If he gives you a look of disgust, he will ask you to leave. However, you may continue to ask until he eventually gives in, expressing a very loud sigh. After this, he will ask you to follow him. If he gave you a look of sorrow, then he will begin to cry. You will have to wait for his crying to stop, and no one will be there to talk to him. But you, nothing you say will stop him from crying. His crying could go on for minutes or hours, depending on what type of life you lived. For his crying is for all the people you have wronged throughout your life. When he is done, he will hesitantly ask you to follow him. After either of the previously stated has occurred, the worker will lead you outside and into one of the institution's special buses. The worker will then get in and ask you to sit in the smallest seat in the way back. This particular seat is utterly revolting looking and smelling, for it is covered in mold, animal piss, and Lord knows what else. However, if you choose not to sit there and choose somewhere else to sit, the safety door in the back of the bus will open and will begin sucking you into an endless void of depth and despair and suffer a fate of which hell itself would be afraid. If you do choose to sit in the seat, the worker will then begin driving. He will seem to just be normally driving along the road for the first hour as you approach the countryside. But as the city starts to leave your gaze, the driver skews off-road into an extremely bumpy terrain while dodging a lot of potentially deadly hazards. Should you at any time hear the radio turn on, Jump out of the back door as fast as you can. Any injury you suffer will be better than the fate you would have received staying on that bus. If the radio does not turn on, the bus will eventually stop at a very, very small cottage in the middle of nowhere. As you walk up the porch steps, if the wind blows and you hear wind chimes, pray your death be something simple as you will be thrown out of reality and into one of millions of kinds of possible death situations. If the wind does not blow, knock on the door softly two times. The door will then slam open against the wall and you will be drawn into the room. Inside this room is unspeakable horrors, all conjured up by your own thoughts and feelings. Do not be afraid for being afraid will initiate the creature's attack, and they will mutilate your body until there is nothing left but your skeleton. Should you have the courage to proceed, at the end of the dark room lies a small, peculiar-looking man with a long beard and a cross-looking face, armed with a combat knife on his left thigh. Do not utter a sound at this point as he will strike faster than you could ever dream to react. He will gesture you to come over and kneel down. Do as he commands while staring at his eyes the entire time. If you don't stare at his eyes, the floor will disappear, leaving you to fall for all eternity with your nightmares attacking you. After kneeling down, he will touch your nose with a very... Very sharp nail and prick it, causing
causing it to bleed. With his blood-tipped fingernail, he will take a piece of paper and place it upon the parchment. As soon as this happens, ask him this question and this question only. Why is he so elusive? As you ask this, the strange man will then begin to list all the things you have done wrong in your life while speaking to you about each of your mistakes. Do not interrupt him, or he will take his nail and scrape away at your body's motionless corpse until you are nothing more than a mass of bones as you are paralyzed by fear. After he has finished listing everything, the room will begin to shake, and light will start to illuminate the room. Close your eyes as this happens, or the man will maim and mutilate your body as you are frozen by the tremors. After the tremors stop, open your eyes and you will find yourself in your backyard, lying in the grass. Stand up and you should see the list that the man wrote, along with the extremely long, blood-tipped fingernail. Do not touch the list, but instead grab the nail. If you touch the list, you will be frozen in place, and you will fall forward into an endless abyss, being unable to move till the end of time. This fingernail is object 685 of 2538. Your blood is not price enough for those you have wronged.